Today we are going to be talking about my favorite makeup products. Originally, I was just going to list my top five makeup products, but I was having a really hard time trying to pick just five products out of my entire makeup collection that were like the best of the best. So I decided instead to go for my top makeup per category. So I got some face products, some eye products, some lip products, all sorts of fun stuff to share with you today and I'll kind of give you a quick overview of why I like those specific products. So if you'd like to see my top makeup products, then keep watching. First up in my makeup routine is primer. My primer that I've been loving lately is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. This is what it looks like here. This is really, really nice. Not only does it add a lot of hydration in a nice glow to the face, but it seriously works under any foundation and it really smooths out your skin too. This is so good. And is that a nice glass bottle? Rihanna did good. My favorite foundation lately has been the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Mine is in the shade Mont Blanc. It's one of the lighter shades. This foundation just sits so nice on the skin. It's what I have on today. And I find that it doesn't take very much to really do your full face. And it's a very thin consistency, so it doesn't really feel like you have a lot of makeup on, even if you do layer it, and it layers well. And it just has a nice natural finish, and I highly recommend this if you're willing to splurge on a foundation. Next up in my routine would be my concealer, and my favorite is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This is what it looks like here. Mine is in the shade Fair Neutral, and this is a really, really good full coverage concealer, and I just find that the shade range is decent. I have two shades, one for my base for any blemishes that I want to cover, and one for under my eyes to brighten, and I just, it's so beautiful. It sits nicely on the skin, and it's not super dry, and I don't feel like it gets cakey. If you put too much on, it will get cakey, but I really do just thoroughly enjoy this. It covers up everything. So good. And I know that those three items have been high-end, but my favorite setting powder is actually from the drugstore. It's a Maybelline Fit Me Powder. It's their loose finishing powder. I have the shade 5 Fair. This is what it looks like here. It's just a loose powder. I really enjoy this. It leaves a very smooth finish to the face because it's very, like, finely milled. And it's pretty affordable being it's Maybelline. And I just find that not only does it do good under the eyes to set the face, but I can use it to set my entire face. And it doesn't look like a heavy, nasty powder. So I definitely recommend you pick these up. Also, there's multiple shades, but it's a very like sheer, almost translucent powder. So as long as you get one kind of in your shade range, you are completely and totally fine. It's not going to change the color of your foundation. Next up in my base, I go for blush, bronzer, and highlight. So my favorite bronzer is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. As you can see, mine has been well-loved. I have hit pan and it looks a little rough. I need to pick up a new one here. I've had this forever. So it's really, really beautiful. It blends out smooth on the face. It's what I have on today. And it also smells like a tropical vacation. Like, it's made with their Miro Miro butter, and I don't know what that is, but it smells like coconut dream. I highly recommend giving this a shot if you're in the market for a good bronzer. My favorite blushes lately have been the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. This is in the shade Dim Infusion, but I do have multiple shades. If you can see the swirls here, the pinky part is the blush, and the lighter part is part of their ambient lighting setting powders. And they just have a beautiful glow to them, so it's a really nice glowy blush, but it still gives you a nice blush of color. I actually have that specific shade on my cheeks today, and I just love them so much. I have not found a shade that I do not like. My favorite highlighter costs about $3 at Ulta. It's amazing. It's the Essence Pure Nude Highlight in shade Be My Highlight, and it's a baked highlighter. Now, it might not look like much in the pan and also might look terribly light, but this is seriously the best highlighter ever. If you are looking for a beautiful, like, natural glow, pop this on. 
but if you want to amp it up you can also build it up and create a really nice sheen sometimes i have even set the face with this all over um it really adds a nice glow just like the hourglass ambient lighting powders that's mixed in with the blush formula this is very similar type of effect but you can really build this up to be like a beaming highlight and it's super affordable they have another shade too that's more golden but i seriously recommend these you can't go wrong especially with how cheap they are next in my routine i would go and start on the eyes so for the eyes i have my favorite eye primer which is the urban decay primer potion and this is in the shade eden and this primer potion is like a matte color it comes out on a stick here like a concealer and it's a matte like light skin tone color and it really just evens out the eyes and this makes my eyeshadow last until i take it off i have put this on in the morning to go run errands with my mom and then have worn it all day went out to a bar came home at three o'clock in the morning and it was still looking like it did when i left the house i highly recommend this primer it is hands down the best that i have found and then next i would say eyeshadows i have a couple recommendations for you the first would be the urban decay naked basics 2. this is a fresh one but it's just cool toned neutral matte shades and this is a really good everyday type of palette it's small and compact so it's good to travel if you need to chuck it in your bag for any reason um, and they do have a Naked Basics 1, which is warmer shades, but I like the formula of these and it's like a quick go-to neutral eye, especially perfect for me for work because I work in an office. And so this is really my go-to. Another one of my favorites is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is so beautiful. If you have never tried an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow, I 10 out of 10 recommend you experience it at least some point in your life, whether it's buying a single shadow or purchasing a palette. Um, I believe there's actually one of her palettes is on sale right now at Ulta or at Sephora. But the shadows are buttery smooth and beautiful. The payoff is amazing. I mean, just, just look at these shades. Like, they are so incredibly beautiful. And I just think it's a great formula. It's easy to use. The shimmers really pack a punch. And I highly recommend them. And now to recommend something on a budget for you. Elf came out with these bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. I have three of them here. We have Hot Jalapeno, Acai You, and Cream and Sugar. And these are just little eyeshadow quads you can purchase at the drugstore. And these are $3, so affordable. And these are so good. These are buttery, these are smooth. This one's one of my favorites. And they blend out amazing. So if you'd like to try good quality eyeshadow, similar actually to the quality in the Anastasia palette, I would definitely recommend these. They have a bunch more colors than these. I have all of them, I think there's seven or eight of the mini palettes here but they're so beautiful and i highly recommend you pick one up and just just test it out even if it's a neutrally one it's just it's so beautiful and then next i would go into eyeliner my favorite eyeliner has been for years it used to be kat von d but they've just changed the name to kvd vegan beauty but it's their tattoo liner and trooper it's just the black one and it is a liquid eyeliner here in like a felt tip pen and honestly, this is super black. It's super easy to use. It has made me actually able to do a wing. And before this eyeliner, I was never able to do a winged liner. So I, this is a really good one. If you struggle with doing a wing liner and you're willing to splurge a little bit, I would say give this one a chance because it's great. My favorite mascara, or one of my favorites, one of them I don't have because I ran out. It's the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. It is amazing, adds a lot of volume. But a one that comes in close second is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This has a curved brush. This is a new one and I'm not gonna open it because I have other mascaras I need to use up first. But 
It has a curved wand to it and it really curls your lashes when you put it on and they stay up all day and it really adds some length to your lashes and it's just so, so nice and they stay curled all day. They don't fall down. So I highly recommend if you have issues with that to give this one a try. It's really good. And then for a brow product, my favorite brow product is a clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is what it looks like here. It's just in like a mascara tube and it's got a small mascara type wand on it. And this really just locks in your brows. You run it through after you've done your powder, your pomade, your pencil, anything that you've put in your brows, you just run this through afterwards and it really locks them in and keeps them in place where you need them to be all day. It does kind of dry down and give you a little bit of a crunchy feeling at first in your eyebrows, but it does go away. It's just a form feeling to you when it first happens, but it's really, really good and it's the best eyebrow gel that I have found. And next we're getting into the lips, which is one of my favorite categories. So I'll start off with my favorite chapstick. I have hordes of these all over the house, hidden in different places, a desk at work, literally everywhere. I have a car one, I have a purse one. Like I said, I have a work one. There's one in the bathroom. I think there's two in the bathroom. I have like three in my drawer. Like it's my favorite and I will never run out because it's great. But unfortunately, the reason why I have stocked up on it so much is it's seasonal. It's the chapstick brand Candy Cane Chapstick. It's got a beautiful like menthol cool feeling on your lips and especially when you have chapped lips like I get often, it really is just so nice. So if you like the menthol feeling on it, I highly recommend you give it a try. My favorite lip liner is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. It's literally a my lips but better type of lip pencil. And this formula is really good. It glides on and it really doesn't budge once you have it on. It doesn't like set down. So if you wanted to blend it out with a brush or something, you totally could. But it really does create a nice boundary to just put your lipstick on top of so it doesn't feather outside the lines. And they're really beautiful to wear just on their own too. This is the only shade that I have, but I plan on picking up more, possibly in the Sephora sale, since I can get them for a discount. My favorite lipstick in an actual lipstick tube here is the Huda Beauty Matte Lipsticks. This is what it looks like here. This is in the shade Graduation Day, which is the shade that's currently on my lips right now. I have this and that Pillow Talk lip liner on, and these are so beautiful. It's a matte lipstick, but it goes on buttery smooth and super pigmented, like one swipe on my top and bottom lips and it was fully covered and it lasts quite a while but it's not on that lipstick that's extremely drying like it feels creamy and comfortable on your lips the entire time that you are wearing it and if you are struggling with a dry matte lipstick this is a really good one to test out that being said for a drier matte lipstick i have a liquid lipstick that is my favorite and it is the dose of colors uh, liquid lipsticks. This is what they look like here. I have a ton of shades of these and they are beautiful. They go nicely on the lips. They're not overly drying and they last through everything. I have worn these to dinner and ate a fish fry and walked away with it still looking amazing on my lips. And it was even a deep shade, like a deep plummy purple shade. So these really are incredible. And lastly, I have a lip gloss for you. My favorite lip gloss formula so far that I have tried is the NYX Butter Glosses. This one is in the shade Madeleine, and these are just beautiful tinted glosses. I have a bunch of them, and they're like $7, I think, maybe cheaper than that. But they have a really nice, like, kind of sweet smell, and they're not super sticky. On the lips but they do add a really really nice glossy finish so if you're in for a good gloss I recommend these for sure and some honorable mentions I know a lot of this was high-end or more pricey makeup so some honorable mentions for some things here I really like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation it's really similar to the NARS foundation that I recommended but it's much cheaper uh, a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's $6 and it has a very similar finish and similar coverage. 
uh, another e.l.f. has primer infused blushes that are about six dollars and they're really good too they don't have that glow to them but they are really really pretty and pigmented if you want a nice glowy brush blush from the drugstore i would recommend milani blushes they have the baked blushes one of my favorite is luminoso and it will give you that nice glowy blush um the l'oreal paradise mascara is really good too it is uh, a drugstore mascara and it's similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So if you've ever tried that, it's a really good drugstore option. And um, uh, the NYX also makes uh, soft matte lip creams. And those are kind of like a moussey textured matte liquid lipstick like this. This is not moussey textured, but it's a liquid lipstick. And those are really good too. They don't have the staying power that the Dose of Colors ones do but they are really pretty for that matte look. So those are just some options at the drugstore to kind of replace some of the fancier stuff. Hey everyone, just coming to you from my bathroom with an added favorite. I figured I would share with you my favorite items for removing makeup as well as my favorite makeup items. So I really like on a day-to-day -day basis the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. Um, I go through a lot of these, but they do a really good job. And then for anything really stubborn or if I have a really heavy eye look on, I will go for the Green Clean from Pharmacy. Uh, this is really good. It's a cleansing balm and it hydrates your skin while it takes off your makeup. And it smells super good too. This is a mini size, but they do come in a larger size. But I just wanted to go ahead and tell you those products and I use them to take off my makeup here. Uh, so yeah, back to me with a full face. <laughs> if you would like to see my least favorite makeup items or anything else, please feel free to comment down below and just let me know what you'd like to see next. I'm open to hear your thoughts and I'd love to produce the content that you want to see. So I hope everybody is having a great day and doing okay in quarantine. And until next time, bye.